What up, YouTube? It's your boy T Electric, and this is a uh, tour of the studio. I've been getting a lot of uh, messages. You know, people want to know what I'm working on, what type of setup I got, and what type of gear that I use. And well, my main gear that I use is the uh, the Machine Studio. I've been headed for a couple of years now. This is my centerpiece right here. Uh, I left uh, FL Studio for this when they incorporated the chords and scales and all that. I uh, had to leave FL for that. So this was the first. Actually, I had the first. The first machine I had was the Micro, but. I used it for, you know, a controller for um, inside of FL. And then I had got the regular, the, the, the full size machine, which was the uh, Mark 1. Then when they, they put the cords in, I um, had to get the studio, I had to get the flagship. So this was my first piece of gear. Uh, and I'm still mastering it, but that's the machine studio right there. I got the white one. Then the second piece of hardware that I got was the uh, complete control keyboard. I got the uh, the S49, 49 keys. Uh, this got the chords and scale built into it too. I love it. This is what I want to you know lay down the melodies and you know bass lines. Then. The, uh, the final piece that I got is the jam. I love it. It's just, it's dope. The way that you can, it's, it's just an entirely different workflow from the studio, you know, from the regular machine. Um, although it uses the same software, uh, but it's just, it's just so easy to arrange. I, I mainly use it to arrange. And I, uh, you know, I love the smart strips on there. And um, I mean, it's just so much you can use it for. You can use it to control your volume levels. You can pan on it. It's got a, um, the chord features on there. This little grid right here of the 16 pads represents the 16 pads here. You can also, it also got the, uh, the uh, step sequencer and it's got the built in piano roll. I love it. And also, I have. Um, I use the Pioneers uh, DJ monitors. I've been had these for a couple of years. Um, and then I have the uh, for my audio interface. I got the uh, Fast Track C400, which is dope. It comes with Pro Tools, but I use Mixcraft. You know to do my um, my vocals, which is uh, here it is right here. I got it set up right here. It's dope. And for my computer, I got a um, a gateway. Uh, it's one terabyte. Uh, it's a quad core. Matter of fact, no, it's not. It's an i5. It's an i5. Um, uh, 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 one terabyte. Then I got about, let's see, I got four external hard drives. The one at the bottom is the first one I ever got. That's one terabyte. The, the one second from the bottom is five terabytes. And then the two smaller ones are two terabytes each. So I got a lot. Um, and as far as the, uh, my microphone go. I, I, I record vocals sometimes. I have my artists come in and do vocals. I got the um, <clears throat> I got the MXL 9000 condenser mic with the tube. It's it's the tube condenser microphone. At first, the first condenser mic I had was a USB uh, microphone condenser mic, and I traded that in. 
for the uh, the MXL 9000 and the vocals sound a lot better. It's a lot warmer because it's got that tube congestion mic. Matter of fact, here's the um the outlet that it comes with this little uh, box right there. That's what got the circuits and stuff in it. Um, here it is right here. Here's the actual microphone right here. The, M, uh, the MXL 9000 condenser mic. And then, you know, this is just part one of the, uh, you know, I got a little studio decor. Big press fan. Um, and also, uh, I'm going to do a part two that's focus. That's going to focus on the uh, software that I use. Um, for right now, I'm going to show you guys some of the expansions that I use. Like here go some of the expansions that I have uh, for Native Instruments. But I'm going to do. I'm going to have a uh, part two, like. This part, which is part one, is going to focus on my the hardware that I use, um, and part two is going to focus on the software, like my favorite VSTs, you know, my contact libraries, which I got tons of that. But here goes some of the expansions that I use for machine, right here. Uh, then it just. Matter of fact, let me scroll down. And also, like sometimes when I make a uh, beat, I might get a little beat block or whatever, or I just need to take a break. So I got the game center over here. I got uh, I got the Wii U. I got the Wii U right here. I got the PS4. I got the Xbox One. And the Xbox 360 is in the other room, in my son's bedroom. Um, I got the VR. Oh, this is the shit right here. I know I'm going off topic, but when you really want to get away from it, man, you gotta you gotta grab a VR. I I, I absolutely 100% recommend getting the PlayStation VR, man. It's like you escaping into a whole entire different world. I could just like if I got beat block or something, or I just want to get inspired, man, or I just want to just escape into another world, just throw this on, and you, I mean, this will this will take you into another. I mean, you in virtual reality. And here goes some of the games that I got. Uh, as you can see, I mainly play. PlayStation 4. These are the only uh, Xbox One games I got right here. But all these right here is the PS4 games. And these are the VR games. I got, oh, this was the shit too. But I got the, uh, the Batman. I got the uh, uh, Wash of Blood. Uh, those are all VR games. I got Valkyrie, Valkyrie. I got the uh, PlayStation um, Worlds VR. I got the uh, Drive Club VR. And this is the demo disc that came with it. Uh, the next game I'm, I'm going to get is the new Resident Evil uh, 7 for VR. But uh, yes, this is the, the hardware that I got. 
as far as the uh, you know my the gear, the studio setup. So you know, stay tuned for part. Stay tuned for part uh, two, where I focus on the hardware. I mean, focus on the software. Like my favorite, you know, VST plugins. Like I got a massive, massive contact library. Probably like, man, I got so much contact stuff. It ain't. Wow, you gotta. It's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I got the stuff. I got the motif. I got a lot of chord stuff. Matter of fact, let me, um, I'm going to pull up one of my, um, folders. Uh, this is just one of, this is just one of the folders. And this is, by the way, this is all third party stuff. This is all third party stuff. This is just on one of my hard drives right here. Just one of them. All this stuff right here. I mean, that's 161 uh, libraries right there. And that, on, on that hard drive alone. And this ain't even counting the complete tan that I have. Um, I'm trying to find the Norcrack. Uh, if you go over here to this library right here, this is a, this is a not. I mean, this folder right here. This is a, this is another uh, external hard drive. This one right here got 122 libraries in it. And some of them got uh, you know, subfolders within, within the folders. Um, like for example, where's the North Crack? Right here, like right here, I got the, uh, the, M, the Korg M3, all the songs from the Korg M3. I got the, uh, all the songs from the Korg PA50. <coughs> the Nord Rave, Roland GWA, Roland XP80, the Yamaha PS, PSR3000, Yamaha TX181Z, uh, the Roland D50, the Synth Collection, the Phantom G6, XP50, uh, the Tyros, and the Motif XL. And I got the Motif ES, and I got the, uh, the, uh, the Korg, the, uh, the Korg Phantom. I mean, not the Phantom, the Yamaha. Which one made the Phantom? Damn, I forgot. But anyway, man, uh, yeah, the Rolling Phantom. I got the Rolling Phantom. I got the, uh, I mean, I got, I, I just got so much shit, man. All this right here is, is just, it's, it's crazy, man. Uh, yeah. 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 But you know what? This is going be saved for power two, the software that I use. You know, but I appreciate you guys and thanks for watching.